It's a story that we know some of you are tired of hearing about, the relentless crime in our city, but WJZ is committed to keeping you safe and bringing you answers about what's being done about it. Six city council members are demanding the mayor and commissioner come up with a plan now. WJZ is live at City Hall. Jessica Albert explains what these city council members want to happen. Jessica. Vic, those city council members sent letters to the mayor, the police commissioner, and to the city state's attorney. They say they want to see an immediate crime plan, which includes beefed up patrols all across the city. In the span of a week in Baltimore, there were two mass shootings, and one of them, more than 60 shots fired. Like the wild, wild west, everybody's for themselves. On top of that, a pregnant woman and her fiance were gunned down in their car outside their home. It's not safe nowhere. A teen was killed on his prom night, and there was a shooting inside a restaurant in one of the most popular areas of the city. Mayor Brandon Scott, please step your game up. We need a plan now. Many are calling on the mayor and police to do something to stop all the violence, including six members of the city council. This is just a um, professional um, cry out that we need immediate help. City Council Vice President Sharon Green Middleton and Council Members Eric Costello, Mark Conway, Antonio Glover, Yitzi Schleifler, and Robert Stokes called a news conference Thursday demanding an immediate plan from the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement, the police, and the city state's attorney. They mailed each office a letter. We agree with the plans that are in place, but we need something now that's going to help us. The Mayor and Commissioner held a news conference Wednesday to lay out a new plan for policing in the city by having police officers focus on violent crimes and community policing and having minor crimes be handled by civilians and outside vendors. The group of city council members say they want to see more patrols done now. They also say Monsi has not made any progress in reducing crime, adding that 17 percent of the city watch cameras are not working. They're asking for the immediate plan to be in place by June 3rd. Our constituency, they want to see our police department. They want to see them walking. They want to they want that partnership. And the council members told me that the mayor and the commissioner were aware of today's news conference, but they didn't invite them. So I reached out to the mayor and the commissioner. I have not heard back from them yet. Reporting live tonight in front of City Hall, Jessica Albert for WJZ.